so everyone I went to the bank today well I opened a new account because I lost my Citibank card two days ago and there's no Citibank in Wisconsin there's not a bank there's ATMs but not a bank so I had to open a new account with uh, Summit Credit Union and I just found out something very interesting now in 2013 I was actually in Paris from New York I know this because I went from Osaka to New York to Paris and that's the year that I moved to Paris in 2014 at the end of 2013 to 2014 and the thing is I am really skeptical about is the fact that there is some type of medical report that states that I was in Portland or well Salem Oregon now at the time I didn't visit Portland at that time I started visiting Portland in 2015 2016 now I never been to Salem Oregon before uh, so well recently I did last year when I walked through there but that was last year 2018 but it states that I have a medical bill from a collection agency which is weird because in 2013 I was in Paris uh, moving in and I stayed there for a whole year so I kind of find that a little bit strange that the bank is telling me that other than that my credit score looks good my credit score looks good my numbers are good but this one little fucking shit is kind of messing with how my credit score has jumped from 678 to down 643 and I'm trying to keep it back up so and you guys are on the gimbal and I'm using the new Keatwin lens pro wide angle lens so you guys can see how this lens actually really performs in the real world I do have the Boa shotgun microphone mount to the gimbal so everything is stable but yeah I kind of find that a little weird so I need to call this collection agency and find out hey um what is going on that I I just went to the bank and even my own city bank didn't detect that but the credit union detected it and I'm sure this is the right person you guys have because I would never been to Oregon in 2013 so this might be a fraudulent uh, misunderstandings you someone might have got some paperwork mixed up or I don't know I'm quite not sure but was it never in Portland in 2013 because I was in Paris for that whole year so it's very strange but let me know what you guys think about the quality from this lens on the iPhones I am using iPhone 6s and I am using this wide-angle lens from uh, Kingwen and it looks pretty decent I don't see any hunting I do see some little bit of flaring when I point it up to the sun. If I get into the sunlight, there's a little bit of flaring. But I kind of like the flare effect at some point. I can kind of see it in on my iPhones. But I'm walking down State Street. So I got a new credit card today. So, well, this is to, until I get my Citibank card. Because I love my Citibank. And I'm not going to ever leave Citibank for but Summit Credit Union. Guys with Kyle was very nice and very polite. He also was a UW student, went to school here as well. He lived here for quite some time. We talked about how State Street is different. Every morning it's just a mess here. It's just a mess. Garbage on the floor, garbage everywhere on the sidewalks. Now when I was a student here the state street was very clean now it's just puke on the streets but I'm not complaining but I just want to log this in so you guys can see in the real world how this Kingwin wide angle lens actually performs I do have the shutter speed about uh, 2550 at the shutter the ISO is at 25 white balance is on daylight at 5400 so, but the lens is actually pretty light. Uh, it's not as heavy 
it's actually way lighter than my Matrim 2 in 1 wide angle. That lens was very heavy on the iPhone, causing my gimbal to uh, uncalibrate itself. So it's, and that was the problem with the Matrim 2 in 3 in 1, actually. You can see me in the mirror. Oh. So we're just walking up State Street. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of point of view how this looks. It looks pretty good. You can see the little bit of distortion. I can tell that it's a wider view, a feel, feel. Blah. But it is 11:24, and we are going to be looking for some lunch. So, yeah, heading to the capital. So, and you guys, I'm shooting this in 1080p, 120 frames a second. I don't know why I'm shooting in 120 frames a second. I should be just shooting this in 4K or 1080p, 60 frames. But I figured that I might slow down this video. I might use some of this video for B-roll in the future. That's why I'm, I'm recording this on my iPhone and then uploading it to YouTube. So I'm not sure what, how the YouTube compression is going to be yeah, with this video. But the microphone should sound very good right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me through the microphone. I mean, six minutes and 33 seconds into this video. So this lens is not too bad. Hey. Hello. But lens is not bad. You can see, you can pretty much see everything in the view. If I take this lens off, you guys are gonna be like, "What the hell is that?" It's gonna look a little bit more like a 50 mil or a 35 mil this is giving me like a a 14 a 14 to 12 mil view of feel so if I take the lens off right now watch you see that now let me put this back on now you can see the big difference so yeah there's a big difference in the lens quality so it's much more wide, wider field to view with this lens on the iPhone. So, sorry if it's not perfectly aligned, but it's doing the job very well. So, Kingwin Lens Pro kit for your iPhone or mobile device. Is it worth it? Well, for 20, under $25, I, I think it is. Now, some of you guys might like the momentum lenses. I'm not a big fan of the momentum lenses because they're overpriced. And there are similar lenses like the momentum lenses. And what's the other brand that are much cheaper than the momentums that kind of gives you the exact same image quality, sharpness, and detail. There might be slight little color. Re uh, <coughs> <coughs> there might be some kind of color shifts or some distorting, or they might be some softening in the corners, but no one's really gonna tell if you, no one's gonna like pick to peep video. No one's gonna do that. But other than that, this is the Panda Photographer coming to you live. And uh, I'm enjoying the weather here in Madison. And uh, in a couple of two weeks, it'll be my birthday, guys. So uh, I'm expecting a Sony camera from you guys. I'm expecting a, a new, maybe a new microphone kit. Or maybe someone just gonna, gonna donate 500 bucks like last time and wish me a happy birthday. But here's the capital. Ooh, look at that. Nice view, beautiful. But I will talk to you guys in the next video. You guys take care, happy shooting.